Hi friends, a very warm welcome to the Microsoft Azure tutorial. Before we go ahead, don't forget to watch the previous amazing tutorials and interview questions. Link for the playlist and videos are in the description box, so without much delay, let's get started. Today, cloud computing applications and platforms are rapidly growing across all industries, serving as the IT infrastructure that drives new digital businesses. Amazon Web Services and Microsoft Azure are the two giants in the world of cloud computing. So let's take a deep dive into what is Azure and its offered services. Today, cloud computing applications and platforms are rapidly growing across all industries, serving as the IT infrastructure that drives new digital businesses. Amazon Web Services and Microsoft Azure are the two giants in the world of cloud computing. So let's take a deep dive into what is Azure and its offered services. Ok so first thing first, what is Microsoft Azure? Now, it's time to talk about one of the most prominent cloud computing platforms, Azure. Microsoft Azure is the public cloud computing platform developed by Microsoft. It offers a range of cloud services for networking, storage, analytics, computing, and many more. For running existing applications or for developing and scaling new applications, users can pick and select from these services in the public cloud. This platform is widely considered both as an IaaS and PaaS offering. Let's take a look on the primary Azure services. First is Compute Services. It includes the Microsoft Azure Cloud Services, Azure Virtual Machines, Azure Website, and Azure Mobile Services, which processes the data on the cloud with the help of powerful processors. Secondly, Data Services. The service is used to store data over the cloud that can be scaled according to the requirements. It includes Microsoft Azure Storage, Blob, Qtable, and Azure File Services, Azure SQL Database, and the Redis Cache. Third, Application Services. It includes services which help us to build and operate our application, like the Azure Active Directory, Service Bus for connecting distributed systems, and the Azure Media Services. Fourth service is Network Service. It helps you to connect with the cloud and on-premises infrastructure, which includes Virtual Networks, Azure Content Delivery Network, and the Azure Traffic Manager. Application of Azure. The top applications of the Azure platform are as follows. First, IaaS is also called Infrastructure as a Service. Instead of on-premises systems, Microsoft Azure provides on-demand infrastructure as a service. There is no need to maintain hardware, software, and security protocols by vendors anymore. Instead, they can add, remove or modify servers as for their need. Then, Storage Azure provides structured and unstructured data storage for modern complex business applications ranging from small to large-scale enterprises. Next is Integration and Web Services. Azure provides third-party communication bus services, middleware web services, and hosting for enterprise applications. Then comes Azure Network Services. Azure provides network management services like load balancing, IP and server configuration, router maintenance, etc. Next is Popular Service, Machine Learning Services. It offers open source machine learning frameworks, libraries, and infrastructure supports, as well as exclusive frameworks like Microsoft Bot, Automated Milliliter Services, etc. Last, we have Migration. Azure helps migrate legacy customers' infrastructures to on-demand ERs, PaaS, or SaaS models. Let's learn the types of Azure Clouds. Before going into the details of Azure Key Components, let's take a quick look on what are the Azure Cloud types. IASS, this Azure service is used by IT administrators for processing, storage, networks or any other fundamental computer operations. PaaS, it's a computing platform which includes an operating system, programming language execution environment, database or web services. This Azure service is used by developers and application providers. SaaS, software as a service is software which is centrally hosted and managed. Azure key components, categorizing the services would help to understand Azure better. These categories are termed as components. 
As we can see, these main components are compute, storage, database, security, monitoring, networking, web services, mobile services, and content delivery network CDN. Microsoft Azure offers various computing services which include virtual machines, virtual machine scale sets, functions that are famous for serverless computing along with the containerized batch workloads, service fabrics for microservices tasks and container orchestration. Also, Azure provides cloud services for developing cloud-based applications and APIs. Following are the main compute options available in Azure Virtual Machine. It is an IaaS service, allowing us to deploy and manage VMs inside a virtual network VNet. App Service. It is a managed pass offering for hosting web apps, mobile app backends, RESTful APIs, or automated business processes. Service Fabric, it is a platform that can run on any environment, including Azure or on-premises. Azure Kubernetes Services, it manages a hosted Kubernetes service for running containerized applications. Azure Container Instances, it offers the fastest and most straightforward way to run a container in Azure without having to provision any virtual machines and without having to adopt a high-level service. Azure Functions, it is a managed FAAS service. Azure Batch, it is a managed service for running large-scale parallel and high-performance computing applications. Cloud Services, it is a managed service for running cloud applications. It uses a pass hosting model. Data Storage Services offer scalable cloud storage for unstructured as well as structured data and also offer support for archival storage, persistent storage for containers, and big data projects. In the storage section Azure Blob, Q, File and Disk Storage are the popular storage services used. But there are other sets of storage services such as Data Lake Store, Backup and Site Recovery that are used by the users to store the data and perform the tasks. Azure Blob, we can have Azure Blob Storage within the storage account, which is used to store the unstructured data such as media files, documents, etc. Azure File, Azure File can be used in case if we want to share files between two virtual machines then we can create an Azure File Share and access it on both of the virtual machines. We can share the data between two or more VMs. Archive, Archive is recently introduced and it is in preview. We can use the Archive for cost optimization. So, we can move any infrequently accessed blobs or files into the Archive to optimize the cost. However, once you move the data into an archive, it will take some time for the recovery of that data. Azure Queues, it can be used to store messages. Azure Table, it can be used to store entities. The Azure Table is a bit different from the SQL Table. This is a NoSQL data store where the schema within the table is not enforced. This category includes Database as a service which offers SQL and NoSQL tools. Azure provides multiple relational and non-relational databases such as SQL, DynamoDB and other related tools. It has the following components, Azure Data Migration Service, it is used to migrate the data from our existing SQL server and database within the on-premises data center into Azure. Azure SQL Data Sync, if we want to replicate the data from our on-premises database into Azure, then we can use Azure SQL Data Sync. SQL Stretch Database, it is used to migrate core data into Azure. SQL Stretch Database is a bit different from other database offerings. It works as a hybrid database because it divides the data into different types hot and cold. A hot data will be kept in the on-premises data center and cold data in the Azure. Data Factory, it is used for ETL transformation, abstraction loading, ETC. Using the data factory, we can even extract the data from our on-premises data center. We can do some conversion and load it into the Azure SQL database. Data factory is an ETL tool that is offered on the cloud, which we can use to connect to different databases, extract the data, transform it, and load into a destination. Security All the databases that are existing in Azure need to be secured, and also we need to accept connections from known origins. For this purpose, all these database services come with firewall rules where we can configure from which particular IP address we want to allow connections. Azure products offer capabilities to detect and respond to cloud security threats and manage encryption keys and various other sensitive assets. Azure provides security centers Azure Active Directory, Key Vault and Multi-Factor Authentication Services. Key Vault, Azure Key Vault allows you to safeguard cryptographic keys and helps you to create secrets used by cloud applications and services. 
Azure Active Directory, Azure Active Directory and Identity Management Service. This includes multi-factor authentication, device registration, ETC. Azure AD B2C, Azure AD B2C is a cloud identity management solution for your consumer-facing web and mobile applications. It allows to scale hundreds of millions of consumer identities. Azure Monitoring Service help applications to enhance their performance by collecting and analyzing logs from either cloud or on-premise applications. It is used to identify an improvement scope in performance while looking at the stats generated by the Azure Monitoring Service. Azure Resource Manager, it makes it easy for you to manage and visualize resource in your app. You can even control who is your organization can act on the resources. Automation, Microsoft Azure Automation is a way to automate the manual, long-running, error-free, and constantly repeated tasks. These tasks are commonly performed in a cloud and enterprise environment. Metrics, these are numbers used to analyze the application and can describe the application's performance at any point in time based on current stats. Logs, logs are basically records containing events that happened and data generated during the events. So based on both events and applications, behavior application performance can be analyzed. This component offers services such as the creation of a virtual private network VPN. Virtual machines created inside a VPN are only accessible to other services having access to VPN. This can be used to create a connection between on-premise and machines in the Azure data center. Also, traffic management between data centers is managed using Azure Traffic Manager. The Traffic Manager guides the process to access data from the nearest data center to avoid traffic. Virtual Network, perform network isolation and segmentation. It offers filter and root network traffic. Load Balancer, offers high availability and network performance of any application. Load Balance Information Internet Traffic to Virtual Machines. Application Gateway, it is a dedicated virtual appliance that offers an application delivery controller as a service. Azure DNS, Azure DNS Hosting Service offers name resolution using Microsoft Azure Infrastructure. Web and mobile services constitute an important part of Azure services. Web apps, web apps allows you to build and host websites in the programming language of your choice without the need to manage its infrastructure. Mobile apps, mobile apps service offers a highly scalable, globally available mobile app development platform for users. API apps, API apps make it easier to develop, host and consume APIs in the cloud and on premises. Logic apps, logic apps helps you to simplify and implement scalable integrations. Caching is one of the ways for performance improvement. Windows Azure uses caching to increase the speed of cloud services. Content delivery network or CDN puts stuff like blogs and other static content in a cache. The process involves placing the data at strategically chosen locations and caching it. As a result, it provides maximum bandwidth for its delivery to users. Let's assume an application source is far away from the end user and many tours are taken over the internet to page data. The CDN offers a very competent solution to improve performance in this case. Additionally, it scales the instant high load in a very efficient manner. Now in this section, we will learn Azure Key Concepts Regions. Azure is a global cloud platform which is available across various regions around the world. When you request a service, application, or VM in Azure, you are first asked to specify a region. The selected region represents data center where your application runs. Data center, in Azure, you can deploy your applications into a variety of data centers around the globe. Azure Portal, the Azure Portal is a web-based application which can be used to create, manage and remove Azure resource and services. Resources, Azure Resource is an individual computer, networking, data or app hosting services which charged individually. Some common resources are virtual machines, VM, storage account, or SQL databases. Resource Groups, an Azure Resource Group is a container which holds related resource for an Azure solution. Resource Manager Templates, it is a JSON which defines one or more resource to deploy to a resource group. Azure PowerShell, PowerShell is a set of modules that offers CMD lets to manage Azure. In most cases, you are allowed to use the CMD lets command for the same tasks which you are performing in the Azure portal. Azure Command Line Interface CLI, the Azure CLI is a tool that you can use to create, manage, and remove Azure resources from the command line. Azure Data Factory, Azure Data Factory is a cloud-based integration service that automates the movement and transformation of data.
Dear friends, this tutorial is an effort to help you for Azul learning. Please write in the comment if you want something similar or different content. And please, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and loving the videos, see you in the next one.